You ever have that day? You know, that day, that very moment, you got better. Your better got better. What if that day was every day? It is senior night here on the Sun Coast as we get ready to honor our McDonald's All-Americans here at the IMG Academy Basketball Gymnasium. Good evening, everyone. Ryan Sudol with you for the next four quarters. And again, a new addition to the McDonald's All-American annals as Mark Williams and Jaden Springer will be honored pregame with the national honor over 400,000 eligible seniors in the United States of America. Last year, IMG Academy became the first school to boast three McDonald's All-Americans and Armando Baycott Jr., Josh Green, and Jeremiah Robinson Earl all playing at the Division I level. But we will turn it over to the Director of Admissions, Jeff Holbrook, for the presentation.
You have the starting lineups for tonight's match against Clearwater Academy International. And the Knights visiting from just about an hour or so north of Bradenton and the IMG Academy Basketball Gymnasium. On the floor to start, Brandon Huntley, Hatfield, Matthew Morrell, Musa Diabate, Mark Williams, and Jarris Walker coming off a very impressive game yesterday against Prodigy Prep that saw the Ascenders win by a score of 99-40. to 40. And Mark Williams easily winning the opening tip-off. Jarris Walker over to Huntley Hatfield. Down low has Mark Williams dispossessed. The ball will track out of bounds. Will stay with the Ascenders wearing their white jerseys. Attacking from right to left to start on your screen. Clearwater Academy Internationals with their black jerseys, black numerals, white trim. Walker inbound to Huntley Hatfield from the corner, good for three. On the floor to start for the Knights, Luke Erdman, Gilbert Mendez, Aki McMichael, Max Thorpe, and Beryl Kabamba. And that one, well off target. Missed the rebound to Luke Erdman. Driving baseline. Back out for McMichael. Into the corner for three. No good. Rebound to Williams. And then the quick turnover. 
A little bit of contact, but now the Knights will settle it down. Jarris Walker with the steal. Matt Morrell, wide open for three, good. Matthew Morrell went three for his first three in the first quarter yesterday. And that one from the corner, no good. Diabate with a rebound. Five nothing, a sender lead. Brandon Huntley Hatfield currently ranked as one of the top 10 sophomores in the country. Finds Mark Williams, the future Duke Blue Devil. Jarris Walker wide open, look for three. Got it! Jarris Walker making it look easy. It's eight nothing, a sender, six minutes to play in the first quarter. Now driving, trying to get the layup off the glass and down. First points, Gilbert Mendez getting the first two for the Clearwater Academy International Knights. Now Musa Diabate, Matt Morell from the corner, got it! Matthew Morell back-to-back -back trades, puts the ascenders up by nine. Eleven to two. Michael trying to get around. Deep three, rebound to Walker. They'll bring it up for IMG Academy. Now driving, Jarris Walker. Nice little jump pass to Musa Diabate, who gets the easy lay-in. 13-2, a double-digit lead for the Ascenders. Just three minutes into the contest. Subs upcoming for Clearwater Academy International. Erdman for three, no. Walker with yet another rebound. And Jarris, picks up by Musa Diabate. Down low to Mark Williams who gets the little flip and that will cause a timeout to be called by Clearwater Academy International. 4.39 remaining in the first, it's 15-2 in favor of the Ascenders. Don't forget you can interact with all things IMG Academy on all platforms of social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Follow along at IMG Academy. Use the hashtag everything is earned. Also get all your IMG Academy Ascender gear. Go to www.shopimg.com, your official IMG Academy online retailer. Fifteen to the score. And the Ascenders showing no signs of letting up early on. They scored 26 in the first quarter yesterday against Prodigy Prep. Hockey McMichael. Hands off for Jermaine Phillips. Trying to get the basket and the foul. Gilbert Mendez will go to the line for two free throws. Mendez misses the first. And misses the second as well. Diabate will come up with the rebound. Musa driving coast to coast. They'll say the foul was on the floor. And they will give it to Barril Kabamba. Um, Wait on it. Musa Diabate, currently the number eight junior in the country. And right there, kisses it off the glass. Musa Diabate now with four points in the first quarter. But Michael trying to get around Matthew Morell. Firing up a long three. Diabate with the rebound. And the Senders yet to get their dunk show going yet. Jarris Walker behind the back, able to keep possession. Now Diabate, rolls right elbow, tries to find Jarris Walker. And saves it from going out of bounds, but now quick in transition are the Knights. Looking from the corner for three, no good. And now Jarris Walker and Brandon Huntley Hatfield will keep it from going in. And Walker, the two-handed slam. Jarris Walker 
Again, making it look easy. One of the most dangerous teams in transition in the country. Again, with five losses on the year, three of which, though, coming to Montverde, currently the number one team in the entire nation. And now we will see our first subs for the Ascenders, Chikara Tanaka, Lynn Kidd, and Eric Daly Jr., who had a 16-point second quarter yesterday. 25 points on the night, putting on an absolute show. 19 to the ascender lead. Driving, McMichael tries to get the little teardrop, and he does. Eric Daly Jr. now from the corner. Works his way back out top, Huntley Hatfield. Finds Daly Jr. driving baseline as Chikara Tanaka. Matthew Morell fakes the three and draws contact, and they're going to say he traveled. Michael will bring it up for the Knights. Down low has Kabamba and Matthew Morell able to get the steal. Bailey Jr. turns, whips it back for Morell. Wide open, look for three, just long. Lynn Kidd gets a hand to it, but the Knights able to keep possession. McMichael quick going the other way, gets around Tanaka. Lynn Kidd puts his hands up, but Alfonso Franklin able to get that over his fingertips. 2.15 to play, the center's lead is 13. Now keep moving, right? Keep it moving. Kidd, keep over to Eric moving. Daly Jr. Huntley Hatfield looking for three. Kidd misses the rebound. Now Franklin. Down low, working baseline from the corner. Morell putting pressure on, but the three falls. And Faro Kabamba brings the Knights back within 10. And now a tussle on the floor. The Knights end up with it. Back for Kabamba, driving baseline. And the block by Brandon Huntley Hatfield. Easy buckets will not be allowed for the Knights of Clearwater Academy International. Lynn Kidd with a little shove to the back of Alfonso Franklin will send him to the line. Franklin to the line for two. First one is good. Diabate and Walker will check back in for IMG Academy. Second free throw from Franklin. Bounces around, no good. Kid gets the rebound. Tanaka finds Walker. Eric Daly Jr. wide open for three up top. He'll bounce off the backboard. Kid ends up with it. Now Tanaka looking for three. Got it! Chikara Tanaka. Everybody that has touched the floor so far, with the exception of Eric Daly on the score sheet, and Lynn Kidd. And it will change shortly. Now the rebound, Jarris Walker. Looking for that long pass, he brings it up himself. Daly Jr. now, again from three. Beyond the arc, Eric Daly Jr. Puts the ascenders up 15, less than 30 seconds remaining in the first. Now from the corner, this Jermaine Phillips, no good. Daly Jr. comes up with it, leads Jarris Walker. Pulling up for three with just about 10 seconds to go. No good, Diabate. Down low, they'll swing it back around. Lynn Kidd turns a little left-handed shot right before the buzzer, and that will complete 
the even scoring for the Ascenders, 27-10 is the lead after one. You are watching Ascender Basketball on IMG Academy TV. Welcome back to the IMG Academy Basketball Gymnasium. Ryan Sudol with you for the second period of eight minutes here from Bradenton, Florida. Senders jumping out to a 27-10 lead in the first quarter. And trying to get around Jarris Walker is Gilbert Mendez, unsuccessfully so. And trying to get around Diabate. Eric Daly Jr. able to get a hand to it, causing the turnover. Gilbert Mendez losing the handle. Eric Daly Jr., three ball, corner pocket, no good. Lynn Kidd is mauled under the basket to draw contact. The ball will stay with the ascenders. Gilbert Mendez called for the foul. And down low, Diabate now fouled going to the hoop. And they will call it on Luca Erdman, his first. That will send Musa Diabate to the line for two and has played for the French U19 national team. Gets his first free throw. Currently with 15 major Division I college offers, misses his second. Rebound will go to Gilbert Mendez. Now Erdman looking for an outlet. Diabate able to intercept it, but can't control it. And the Knights will get possession back. Thorpe trying to get around Chikara Tanaka. And they're going to call Eric Daly Jr. for a hold. Looks like it may have been a clean steal on the pass. Instead, it'll stay with Clearwater Academy International. Call Jarris Walker for the kickball. Again, just the absolute suffocating defense of the Ascenders. The Knights cycle back up top. Jarris Walker again keeping it up. Gets the steal and tries to keep it in bounds. And they'll say he just slipped out. 6.54 remaining in the half. And it is senior night here at IMG Academy, so we will be recognizing all basketball seniors at halftime. And a travel is called against Max Thorpe. with the inbound to Tanaka. Jarris Walker at the free throw line. Down low, Eric Daly Jr. from the left elbow. No good. Lynn Kidd gets a hand to it. 
coming up with it is Eric Daly Jr. Gets his own rebound, but he is fouled after getting the rebound. And that is Beryl Kabamba getting called for the foul, his second. Lynn Kidd with the slam. The inbound and Lynn Kidd gets up and down quickly on the inbound play, beautifully designed. And now Tanaka called for the foul. Fifteen foul for IMG Academy, the first for Chikar and Tanaka. And we'll grab a seat on the bench with Lynn Kidd coming back on. Will be Matthew Morell and Mark Williams. Now Gilbert Mendez. Kabamba driving baseline, tries to get around. Mark Williams gets up and under. Nice move by Beryl Kabamba. So four remaining as centers with an 18-point lead. Eric, top back. This way, Eric. This way, Eric. And now the alley-oop trying to get it to Morell, and he is fouled going to the hoop. And one of those fun inbound plays they just drew up for Lynn Kidd, trying to draw another one to Matthew Morell. And he will go to the line for two. First one for the future Ole Miss running Rebel. One of the top 50 recruits in the country currently, according to ESPN. Sinks his first free throw. This is the second. Eric Daly Jr. comes up with it, and he is fouled, and he'll get the basket. Eric Daly Jr. and one. And he'll go to the line. And that'll be Alfonso Franklin's first foul. And Eric Daly Jr. misses, but Matthew Morell with the rebound. And absolutely swarmed under the hoop is somehow able to make it fall. And with 5.51 to go, there will be a timeout on the floor. 35-12, the Ascenders with a 23-point lead. You're watching Ascender Basketball on IMG Academy TV. Welcome back, 35-12 coming off the timeout. The Ascenders absolutely dominating as they did last night in their 99-40 victory over Prodigy Prep. Now the inbound by Clearwater Academy International. This will get to Aki McMichael. Guarded by Matt Morell. Erdman, and he is absolutely rejected by Mark Williams. And now by Jarris Walker, back-to-back -back blocks for the Ascenders down low. And they will come up with it. Mark Williams and Jarris Walker saying, not in my house. Now Walker drives. This is to Daly. They work around the perimeter. Now Walker on the baseline, trying to find Mark Williams' miscommunication. And Mark Williams able to get the swipe and knocks it off of Aki McMichael's foot. 
on the floor in the air. Mark Williams will not let you get by him. Now Jarris Walker for Mark Williams in the alley-oop. Mark Williams yesterday with three back-to-back alley-oops to start the game, and now from the corner, that one short. Fishing out, this is Thorpe for three, and he'll get his first points of the game. Up top for Diabate. Working his way down low, and they'll call the offensive foul against Musa Diabate. around Morrell, looking baseline, sees Mark Williams, decides to pass out, and that one rejected, looking for Musa Diabate, and intercepted by Franklin. Now from the corner, Jairus Walker trying to get a hand to it. Mark Williams again. And now Jairus Walker, and looking at the rim before the ball gets to his hands, and that will lead to a turnover. And he wanted that one badly. Michael. Over to Franklin. Drives on Williams who jumps up and falls a little short. Williams comes up with a rebound. Jarris Walker backs down to the free throw line. Has Huntley Hatfield. And they'll say he took one too many steps. Turnover for the Ascenders, but their 22-point lead. Not too much to be worried about here with 3.30 remaining in the half. And don't forget, stay tuned. We will be honoring all of our seniors from all the basketball teams here at IMG Academy. And they'll call the offensive foul. On Kabamba, that is his third. So he'll step off. Gilbert Mendez will come back on. Diabate finds Walker up top. Walker at the free throw line, trying to get set up Diabate. And they're going to say a hell ball. We'll see where the possession arrow goes. It will stay with the Ascenders. Now the official having some words with head coach Sean McAloon uh, explaining that last held ball. Matthew Morell from the corner. Nice look. And Williams going up to the hoop, and he'll go to the line for two. Jermaine Phillips called for a hold, so Williams will go to the line for two. Misses his first. Next one, next one, next one good. Next one good, next one good, here we go, next one good. And the second one for Mark Williams will fall. 2.55 remaining. We'll see McMichael now driving. <laughs> Sees the wall that is Mark Williams, decides to dish it out. Williams comes up with a rebound. Hotley Hatfield driving. As Musa Diabate, who goes up and down for two. And Jarris Walker picking the pocket of Jermaine Phillips. Phillips now guarded by Morell. 
Hands back to Erdman. Looking for a good shot is McMichael. And for the deep three, just short. Diabate with the rebound. A little over two minutes remain. 40-15, the ascender lead. Jarris Walker down low, has Mark Williams who throws it down with authority. Williams with seven on the night. Now a 27 point lead for the ascenders. Phillips. Down low on the baseline, missed by McMichael. Jarris Walker with 90 seconds to play. Tries to work it over to Musa Diabate. That's taken away. Erdman tries to drive on Walker, and they're going to say that Luca Erdman took one too many steps. Let's see Chikara Tanaka and Lynn Kidd come on for Jarris Walker and Mark Williams. Morell finds Diabate. Erdman able to keep it in, but Diabate comes back up with it. Now the ascenders with numbers, and then the Aaron pass finds the cherry pick. <laughs> Erdman and Musa Diabate absolutely shutting it down. Huntley Hatfield from the corner goes long. And there you saw a wide open Luca Erdman in transition. And shades of the NBA Finals and LeBron James, Musa Diabate coming out of nowhere. 49.5 remaining. And it will be Aki McMichael from the line after Lynn Kidd picks up his second foul for the one and one, and that bounces around and falls. Second one goes as well for McMichael. He's got four. Of the night, 17 points. Huntley Hatfield, cross court, has Morell, Diabate. Up at the top of the key, Tanaka, right elbow, no good. Diabate comes back up with it, dribbles up and lays it in. Now the Ascenders leading score, tied with Matthew Morell for nine. Driving, McMichael. Picked up by Morell. Lynn Kidd wide open. Huntley Hatfield down low and could have been a foul, but Huntley Hatfield able to make it fall. Now at the buzzer, no good. So after 16 minutes of play and two quarters, IMG 46, Clearwater Academy International 17 will have our Senior night festivities momentarily. You're watching Ascender Basketball on IMG Academy TV. Thank you very much.
And that was the director of basketball here at IMG Academy, Brian Nash, as we get ready to acknowledge all of our seniors here at IMG Academy. First one, Antonetta Alexa. Now, Oscar Berry. Accompanied by his parents, Jason and Luis. And now, Brad Bowditch. Accompanied by his grandmother, Sue and friend Liam. Next up for IMG, Matias Bugallo. Accompanied by Pablo Gonzalez Garza. And now Sierra Christian. She is accompanied by her father and mother, Corey Christian and India Christian. Next up, Aisha Kulamali. She will be accompanied by her coach, Shell Daly. And next up will be Terrence Crowley. Next up, Javier Esquera Treyas. Next up on senior night is Yuzni Fakir. Next up, Tommaso Ferrarisi. And, and next up on senior night, Giannis Yanultsis. Next up, Atlas Gunyeli Allerton, accompanied by family friends Ender and Eileen Ackman. And, 
Next up, Morgan Huff. Accompanied by her mother, Claire Felix Davies, and father, Jim Huff. Next up, Nicola Hudson. And she is escorted by her coach, Jennifer Sepielli. Next up, Bryce Johnson. He is escorted by his mother, Kelly Waterman, and sister, Yala Benton. Next up, Cameron Jones. Next up is Cole Kataguchi. Next up, Jacopo Cock Peterson. And next up, Zhang Kai Lu. Next up, Ariel Loiter. Escorted by her coach, Shell Daly, and father, Tomer Loiter. Next up is Lucy Mankin. Next up is Mark Colton Mbayo. And next up we have Darius Miles. He is taken to midcourt by his coach, Chad Myers. Next up, Zach Mobley. And next up on senior night is Zach Mobley. escorted by his mother Michelle Mobley and his brother Ray Miller. And 
Next up, Charlie Morris. Escorted by his mother and father, Charlie and Jennifer. Next up, Joey Murga he is escorted by his mother, Stephanie. Next up is Nicholas Mylonis, escorted by mother and father, Alex and Seriana. Next up, Pao Pumarola Aguilar. Next up, Christo Radulovic. And next up, Kino Rimitz. Next up on senior night, Max Rotman. Next up, Julia Sexa. Next up, Elizabeth Smith. Escorted by her mother, Jennifer Thibault. Next up, Dianara Torres, escorted by her uncle and aunt, Patrick Williams and Maricela Torres. Now, Peter Ubi. Uh, and now for the varsity national player, Zach Eady. Purdue Boilermaker commit out of tonight's game. Next up, Matthew Morell. And Matt 
Kentucky Morrell continuing his education at the Ole Miss. And now for our McDonald's All-Americans, number 11, Jaden Springer. Barbarita Springer, his mother, escorting him out. He will be playing next year at Tennessee, currently ranked in the top 20 of all recruits in the country. Did not play last night, is not dressed for tonight. And your final senior on senior night, Mark Williams, escorted by his mother and sister. Again, will be playing next year at Duke. And there you have it, all of your seniors here for the IMG Academy basketball program. We'll have a little bit of a warm-up and some group pictures, and we'll have second-half action. You're watching at Center Basketball on IMG Academy TV. Deal. Matt Morrell, wide open for three, good. Matthew Morrell went wide open, look for three, got it. Jairus Walker making it look easy, it's eight nothing a cent. Now Musa Diabate, Matt Morrell from the corner, got it. Matthew Morrell back to back trades. Little jump pass to Musa Diabate, who gets the easy lay-in. Now Jarris, picked step by Musa Diabate, down low to Mark Williams, who gets the little flip, and that will cause Brandon Huntley Hatfield. will keep it from going in, and Walker, the two-handed slam. Jarris Walker. Down low, working baseline from the corner. Morrell putting pressure on, but the three falls. And Farrell Kabamba. Now Tanaka looking for three. Got it. Chakara Tanaka. Every he brings it up himself. Daly Jr. now. Again from three. Beyond the arc, Eric Daly Jr. Turns little left-handed shot right before the buzzer, and that will complete the even. Lynn Kidd with the slam. The inbound and Lynn Kidd gets up and down quickly on. And now the alley-oop trying to get it to Morrell and he is fouled going to the hoop. And one of those fun inbound. Daly Jr. comes up with it and he is fouled and he'll get the basket. Eric Daly says, but Matthew Morrell with the rebound and absolutely swarmed under the hoop as Williams will not let you get by him. Now Jarris Walker for Mark Williams in the alley-oop. See McMichael now driving. <laughs> Sees the wall that is Mark Williams, decides to dish it out. Williams comes up with the rebound. Hotley Hatfield driving. As Musa Diabate, who goes up and down for two. His center lead. Jarris Walker down low. Has Mark Williams, who throws it down with authority. And then the Aaron pass finds the cherry pick. Heath Erdman and Musa Diabate absolutely shutting it down. Huntley Hatfield from the, at the top of the key, Tanaka. Right elbow, no good. Diabate comes back up with it. Dribbles up and lays it in. Picked up by Morrell. Lynn Kidd wide open. Huntley Hatfield down low and could have been a foul, but Huntley Hatfield able to. And 
and welcome back to the IMG Academy Basketball Gymnasium, ready for second half action here in Bradenton as the IMG Academy Ascenders lead the Clearwater Academy International Knights by a score of 46 to 17. Scoring for the Ascenders, Chikara Tanaka with three, Eric Daly Jr. five, Brandon Huntley Hatfield four, Matthew Morell and Musa Diabate tied with nine apiece. Lynn Kidd with four, Mark Williams with seven, and Jarris Walker rounding it up with five. Again, very even all the way down the score sheet. And as we approach eight o'clock here at IMG Academy, my name is Ryan Sudol. And if the Ascenders can get to a 35 point advantage, the running clock will be instituted in the second half. And looking to end a perfect season here at home. Their only losses have come in neutral site competitions against some of the nation's top talent. And now the quick turnover. Morell on the break, gets up. A little finger roll, but Musa Diabate is there for the putback. Now in double digits, puts the Ascenders up by 31. McMichael looking for three. Just a little off center. Walker with the rebound. Jarris Walker leading Huntley Hatfield. Gets the finger roll and gets it to drop. Now 50 to 17. Second baseline around Jarris Walker. Nowhere to go for Gilbert Mendez. Passes out to Erdman. And now Mendez trying to drive. Mark Williams just having a body there with Jarris Walker comes up with it. Walker gets it to Huntley Hatfield, tries to get it off the window, gets his own rebound, and Huntley Hatfield has another one, doubles his point total in just two attempts, and, and a timeout taken. It's 52-19. As it looks like they will credit Jamaris McRae. With the bucket. 52 19. And the 30 second timeout. Don't forget, get all your official Ascender gear. Go to www.shopimg.com, your official IMG Academy online retailer. Six twenty nine remaining in the third quarter. Walker brings it up, finds Huntley Hatfield. Matthew Morell will cycle back around to Jarris Walker. Over to Diabate for three. Hits the front of the rim. Williams trying to get a hand to it. A little too much contact under the hoop. And that will be Mark Williams' first foul. And the first of the second half. Michael finds Erdman, cycling back around for McCray, and loses the handle, and they'll give the ball back to IMG Academy. Now Walker, driving baseline, goes up and down. Jarris Walker, taking that one basically coast to coast. And Jarris Walker will get a technical. I guess they'll call that for hanging on the rim. So that will send McMichael to the line for two. First one is good. 
some like come on boy or something something like that. Come on boy or Oh, that's how it was. And this is the second. And Jarris Walker's second technical foul and as many nights last night getting teed up for standing over the diminutive Julian Newman. And there, McMichael. That's two. Now Walker finds Huntley Hatfield driving. Another little finger roll. And just lifting out of the rim. Now looking for three. Got it. Gilbert Mendez. And Brandon Huntley Hatfield quickly the other way. The easy assist. Brandon Huntley Hatfield with 10 on the night. And Diabate, no contest on the rebound. As Matthew Morrell pulls up for three. Mendez has Erdman looking for three. No good. Williams now with the interception. Jarris Walker looking deep down court. Trying to set up Diabate down low. Fighting for it. And dispossessed. Phillips finds McMichael looking for three. Jarris Walker gets the block. Numbers for the ascenders, Diabate. Trying to find Jarris Walker under the hoop. Now Mendez looking for three, goes over Williams, no good. Huntley Hatfield comes up with it. Now has Jarris Walker looking for the alley-oop. Williams gets it under the basket, just a little bit of a miscommunication. And now the ascenders slow thing down. Huntley Hatfield looking baseline, spins, nice move, off the glass and down. Video back, bro. Mark Williams elevating, but can't keep Harris McRae. That's 58 27, two and a half to play. Goes off the hands of Mark Williams. Huntley Hatfield recovers. Walker. Down low, back Williams finds Huntley Hatfield going up. He's stripped. Now numbers in transition for the Knights and Diabate elevating. Instead, it's McCray. Six points all in the third quarter. Under two minutes to play. And Clearwater Academy International has done very well as far as keeping the dunk show out of Bradenton tonight. Now Kabamba, top of the key, drives to his right. Fisher now finds McMichael. Now pulling up from the right elbow is Franklin. And with 60 seconds to play, Ascenders. Just with 12 points in the third quarter, but a very convincing lead. They've got the Knights doubled up right now, 58-29. Morrell swings over to Diabate. Now Daly Jr. in the corner. Tanaka comes back up with it. Dribbles back up. Morrell, pressure coming, goes up, under, tries to get the end one. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. And that will be Gilbert Mendez, third foul. Time winding down in the third. Morrell makes his first. Puts him at 10 points on the ninth. And not often you get to say it, but basically a free throw at the buzzer. 
And that is how the third quarter will end. IMG 60, Clearwater Academy International 29. We'll have fourth quarter action for you momentarily. You are watching Ascender Basketball on IMG Academy TV. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action here at the IMG Academy Basketball Gymnasium. McMichael playing some of that full court press on Chikara Tanaka. Murrell finds one kid at the free throw line, takes two steps. A little bit of contact, no foul. Now Musa Diabate. They'll call him for the foul. Looked like it was a clean block. Will be his second on the night. It'll be Gilbert Mendez for the fourth quarter. Misses the first. Lynn Kidd with the rebound on the second miss. Matthew Morell from the corner, goes long. Musa Diabate saves it. Tanaka takes the step and we'll see what they call and it is a blocking foul. McMichael trying to draw the charge. And that is his first of the night. So Tanaka will go to the line for two. First one, bounces in. And the second one with the same trajectory. Falls down for the Ascenders' first two points of the fourth quarter. Looking for the deep three. Hits the front of the rim, Kid with the rebound. Now Tanaka looking for Diabate, trying to set him up for the alley-oop instead. They'll cycle back up top. Morell has Diabate. And they're gonna say Chikar and Tanaka traveled. And both the ascender bench and Chikar and Tanaka a little confused by that call. Driving the Knights. And the basket will count. Alfonso Franklin. Trying to complete the three point play. Again, the running clock instituted. As Mark Williams checks back in, this time for Musa Diabate. And this is the opportunity to get the three-point play. Instead, the rebound. Eric Daly Jr. was wide open, wanted the long pass, and had a very flashy dunk. And now another foul called against Aki McMichael last night in the route of Prodigy Prep. Kenyon Martin Jr., part of the post-grad program, actually instructing the dunk that Eric Daly should do at the end of the fourth quarter. And they're going to say over and back on Tanaka. And 
then to seal out the game to get the 97th point, Eric Daly Jr. obliged for Kenyon Martin Jr. Michael tries to cross up Tanaka, and another travel call. Looks like that back pivot foot may have just slipped a little bit. Now Morell hands off to Daly Jr. and now Tanaka. Trying to lead Mark Williams. Now quickly, Erdman trying to get up. Lynn Kidd gets a hand to it, and it falls out. Rebound to Mendez, and still can't get it to fall. Now Tanaka on the fast break. Plays off for Morell, trying to get to Williams, and just tipped out of play. Three minutes to go, the ascender still have the Knights doubled up, 62-31. Matthew Morell finds Tanaka in the corner. Williams hands to Tanaka. Gets the easy one, kissed off the glass. Chikara Tanaka has all four of the ascender points in the fourth quarter. And Gurriel Kabamba now with seven on the night of the 33 that the Knights have. And a blocking foul, two and a half to go. Hey. Hey, Luka. Luka. They'll call that on Kabamba. He's got four. Right, Jairus Walker will come in for the final two minutes for Mark Williams. Walker fires a three, just a little bit long. Lynn Kidd with the rebound. And now Kidd turns, again, the little left-handed floater. Huntley Hatfield with a kiss off the window. Driving on Kidd, great defense, arm straight up, they'll call him for the foul. That is the fourth for Lynn Kidd. And a timeout called, a minute 33 to go. The only thing that could stop the clock, 66-33. And the Ascenders undefeated here at home. And this will be a full timeout in IMG without Zach Eady and Jaden Springer tonight. Quick to break out of the timeout. Still about 30 seconds remaining. Thank you for spending your Wednesday evening with us. And as we break the timeout, it will be Alfonso Franklin for the line for two. Makes the first. This is the second. Huntley Hatfield gets the rebound. 90 seconds to play in the regular season home finale. Now Daly Jr. Finds Lynn Kidd from the corner for three, just long. Trying to get it back down, intercepted by Erdman. And a two-handed slam by Alfonso Franklin. He is the leading scorer for Clearwater Academy, and now 60 seconds to play. Walker. Back up top, Lynn Kidd uncontested. Swings back around to Tanaka. Top of the key, dishes down low to Huntley Hatfield. Jairus Walker finds Lynn Kidd, who puts it down with authority. Hey. 
beautiful pass by Jarris Walker to set that up. Now from the corner, Julian Rolf for three. His only points of the night. And now with 20 seconds. And it looks like they may just dribble out. Eric Daly Jr. with 10 seconds. And that will do it in the home finale for the Ascenders. They come out on top of Clearwater Academy International by a score of 68-39. Very convincing performance, although it didn't have the flash that last night's match against Prodigy Prep had. Again, another convincing win, keeping the Ascenders perfect here at the IMG Academy Basketball Gymnasium. Want to thank everybody for tuning in. All season long, there are still a couple games left for the Ascenders. They will go to the East Coast Bump at UMBC in Cantonsville, Maryland. That game will be on February 8th, and then their final game of the season, February 15th, against Millard North at the Heartland Classic. For everyone here at IMG Academy, my name is Ryan Sudol saying so long from Bradenton.